A training day of sorts for people with autism. A local group is giving them tips on how to handle themselves if they're ever confronted by police. As CBS 2's Adriana Weingold shows us, that knowledge could make all the difference if they're pulled over. Put your hands on the dash. These students with autism are getting some very real life experience dealing with law enforcement. Just like my mom said to me once, I need to learn practice more because one day we won't be living because one day I won't be living with them anymore. I'll be living on my own. The intensity level should be a little bit lower. Lieutenant Stan Campbell and his sister, actress Tisha Campbell Martin, are the founders of DOPE, de escalating officer patrol encounters. We're going to run through it again just so They teamed up with Dr. Pamela Wiley at the LA Speech and Language Therapy Center to show these young people with autism how to handle getting pulled over by police. We also take them out of the car because they have sensory issues. So uh, to let them know how it's going to feel to be handcuffed and, and searched. Aggressive movements and loud voices, things that can go along with a typical traffic stop, can be quite anxiety provoking for people on the spectrum. Campbell Martin has a 15 year old son with autism. He took this class just in time to learn how to drive. My son fidgets, and I, we were like, no, no, you can't move your arms like that when you're talking to an officer because for an officer, that puts, he, he may feel like that's putting his life in danger. Dr. Wiley encourages the students to also carry an autism disclosure card and hand it over with their driver's license so officers know their movements and actions may be different but not dangerous. It also allows law enforcement to see the many faces of autism so that you understand the range of responses that these kids may um, exhibit job, during guys. anxious Good situations. Good job. Good job. Tools for both students and law enforcement to make sure everyone stays safe. In Culver City, Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News. Well, the next class is in June. For more information, go to our website, cbsla.com, and click Scene on TV.